Hey, hear the women attain supreme enlightenment. Hear the women turn the Dharma wheel. Hear the women make their city heal. This one is for Wanda Coleman from 1946 to 2013. Hey, Wanda, one of, the last move, one of the last moves Austin made before he split the planet, make sure the Ascot branch of the Los Angeles Public Library was dedicated to you. Remember the library you ran to when you needed a place to escape so long ago? Dozens of your books are now on the shelf below a framed copy of your Los Angeles Times obituary. A dozen feet from your section, four tables are set aside as a student zone for homework help. Black and brown youth, teens huddle in a circle, completing worksheets, while a young woman explains equations. A seventh grade boy chases his younger brother while their mother reads a magazine. In 1957, he chased your dream to be published as an author sitting in these chairs. The librarian can no longer admonish you for staying late. Your dream walks down Maine and across San Pedro through Florence Firestone, set off a landslide of poems bearing witness to African sleeping sickness. Apply the mercuriochrome, a young girl sleeps in her mother's arms. The California condor are gone, but your books remain stacked on the west wall. Hear the footfalls from children down the hall. You were a native in a strange land. You drank a lifetime of bathwater wine. Morning after morning, there wasn't a pill you didn't swallow. You were in touch beyond cliche, erasing all the names of the betrayers. Your crowning glory on the page, channeling blues beyond Broadway, a chorus of cosmic American sonnets, broadcasting honest truth. You asked, who will sing your praise song? I assure you, we are many. Your resurrection reverberates through the firmament. We will never forget you, Wanda. Miss Coleman, you put our city on the map. You made history. Without you, this city is a pale, rude fiction. I drove to Florence and Maine to say your name. After visiting your library, I cruised down San Pedro past Fremont High School. You said it's insanity writing poetry in Los Angeles. Yes, this is true. But something significant has happened here. You liberated a generation of bards, sending us down boulevards and avenues to locate the landscape vernacular. Poetry alone cannot contain your gravitas. Driving down Avalon up to 76th Street near your childhood home, I feel the mercury burning in this late afternoon. I remember your flamethrower cocktail of kindness, your uncompromising vision. Without you, this city is pale, rude fiction. Mm -hmm. <laughs>